Welcome, I am Jake Leeper. I am a designer on Europa Universalis 4, and I'll be introducing to you Mandate of Heaven, our highly anticipated East Asian-focused expansion. Mandate of Heaven introduces a whole host of new features bringing great flavor to the East Asian region of the world, as well as mechanics for the entire world. One of Mandate of Heaven's larger features is the new Ages mechanic. The game, which spans hundreds of years, has now been divided up into four distinct ages, each with their own objectives and abilities. By fulfilling objectives in each age, you will gain splendor, which can be spent on brand new abilities which will apply for that age. During the Age of Discovery, we have focus on exploration and expansion, with specific bonuses available to, amongst others, Portugal and the Ottoman Empire. The Age of Reformation is built around religious strife, whilst the Age of Absolutism is built around empire building, and introduces a new mechanic of absolutism. Age of Revolutions is based around the end game, where you can bring about the destruction of great nations with fantastic bonuses available in that era. Through fulfilling enough objectives, you can also enact your own Golden Age, during which you can enjoy 50 years of incredible bonuses for your country, designed to let you shape the world in your own way. The China region is now packed with mechanics adding great flavor to the region. In particular, we have the Empire of China, which is like the HRE, but for China, Nations in the Eastern Religion Group can fight with the new Cassus Belli to become the Emperor of China. Should they succeed, they will don the throne on the Celestial Empire. Whoever claims the Mandate of Heaven will have meritocracy instead of legitimacy, which they can use to enact decrees for their nation. Part of keeping their Mandate high will revolve around establishing a strong tributary system, where nations will have to bend the knee and send annual tribute to their overlord. The Emperor of China will want to keep a strong collection of tributaries, but also keep them protected from outside threats. One such threat are the Manchu hordes to the north, who now have access to their own banners. Unique units that can be raised at a cost of gold instead of manpower, and they fight with extra discipline. The Chinese region is also host to the religion of Confucianism, which now have their own unique harmonization mechanics, where they can harmonize with other religions in order to treat them as if true faith. This is a long process, but can harmonize entire religious groups. Moving further east to the island of Japan, it has had a revamp with a whole host of new daimyos added to serve the Shogun. Japan no longer starts on the map as a tag, but has been replaced with the Ashikaga Shogunate. The nations will fight over who can become Shogun and unlock the new interactions available in Mandate of Heaven. At the cost of legitimacy, the Shogun can now use their government interactions with their daimyos, including hunting for swords, the Sanking Kotai, and expelling the Ronin. This is to help keep their subjects in line while strengthening their own claim on the Shogun. As the only region following the Shinto religion, the Japanese will have access to a new mechanic of isolationism, where depending on how they react to certain events we call incidents, they will be able to shape their nation, will they close their doors to the outside world, or open them up and bring in new ideas from abroad. Up to eight incidents can trigger throughout the game for Shinto nations, and depending how they react to them, they will gain bonuses from the incident and change their isolation level. State edicts have been added, so each of your states can be specialized how you see fit. At the cost of increasing your state maintenance, you can give special bonuses to that particular state, perhaps additional missionary strength, or defense against spread of reformation, for example. By protecting a state from the ravages of war, they can grow in prosperity and eventually give bonuses for that state. We have also added a new button for the sieges, which has proven very popular in our plays, which is the artillery barrage. Should you bring enough cannons to a fort, you will be able to, at a cost of military power, bring down the walls greatly shortening the process of bringing down those particularly tough forts. Another new feature that we have added in Mandate of Heaven is the Diplomatic Macro Builder. No longer will you have to click around all the countries to find who wants to do dealings with you, but by using the Macro Builder, you will get a very quick overview of who is willing to accept which diplomatic options with you, and why they would or would not. Additionally, you can assign your diplomats to automatically improve relations following rules that you see fit. 
Perhaps you wish to ensure that your diplomats are cozying up with those that would seek to form a coalition against you, or simply strengthen existing alliances that you have. Through the Macro Builder, these can be automated. We look forward to bringing you Mandate of Heaven this April, and we wish you all the best in your fight for the Celestial Throne.